Hello, today we are going to learn how to draw an octagon circumscribed or drawn around a given circle. So here we can see the given circle in the center of our screen. The first thing we are going to do with the ruler is draw a vertical diameter and elongate it on both sides. This vertical diameter cuts the circumference at two points we will call P and Q. So the next step is setting our compass to the length of the diameter PQ. We are going to scribe a semicircle as can be seen here. And now with the same radius and setting the compass on P, we're going to scribe another semicircle, cutting the previous semicircle at two points, which we will call R and S, as can be seen here. So now we're going to join R to S, going through the origin O, and this will cut our circumference at two new points, which we will call T and U. So now setting our compass on point P and setting the radius to the length P, T, We set the compass on the origin O and we're going to draw another circle. All of these lines so far are construction lines, very light lines. Okay, and this circle has cut our vertical and horizontal axis at four points, which we call V, X, Y, and Z. So now with our ruler, we're going to join these four vertices, Z to V, V to X, X to Y, and finally Y to Z. So now getting our compass again and setting it to the length O, Y and setting the compass on Y, we scribe a semicircle which cuts the previously drawn rhombus at two new points, two new vertices, which will be vertices on the octagon that we want to draw. And again, setting the compass on Z we scribe another semicircle, getting two new vertices. And continuing, setting the compass on V, we scribe our third semicircle, getting another two vertices on the octagon that we're going to draw. And finally, setting the compass on X, we draw our fourth semicircle, getting our last two vertices. And now we will name these vertices, as you can see here in red, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. So now getting our ruler and with a thicker line, we are going to join all the vertices, A to B, B to C, C to D, D to E, E to F, F to G, G to H, and finally H to A. So we have our octagon circumscribed around a given circle. I hope this video has helped you. Please press like or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until the next video, thank you. Bye-bye.